Hello and welcome to Tea Time on Plus TV Africa. Guys, it is the middle of the week, meaning Friday is around the corner. And yeah. I am happy about that. This is an entertainment show on Plus TV Africa called Tea Time. If this is your first time of joining in, we talk about everything entertainment, acting scene, the music scene, the influencer scene, anything that's entertaining. And also very important, if it is lifestyle, if it's hot, we will talk about it. And when I say we, I'm talking about Ifeolo Shike and Emerald yes. Bibi. How's it going? What's going on, people? Well, well how right. are you? Emmy. Yeah. I haven't Good seen to have you all week. <laughs> that's a lie. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah, that's yes. not a lie. That's <laughs> <laughs> yes. How are you guys? How's it going? Very well, thank you. You look pretty today. Thank you. You too. I like the look. Are we going somewhere? <laughs> not <laughs> really. <laughs> Are you sure? Are you sure? I should not mind that's like I'm just very girl. basic. Uh, oh, okay. Mom, you know, so sorry about that. You find it? Yeah, very, very basic. Mm -hmm. Ah, sorry. You. Uh, I like to be like you when I grow up. <laughs> yes, you will be when you grow up. Mm. <laughs> that will... How you doing, mom? I'm okay. I'm all right. You all right? Mm. I'm doing Recovered? Mm. It's you that should be recovering. <laughs> no, I'm fully recovered. I'm asking about you now because how you done with this, yeah? My what? No, the whole. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Alrighty. Okay, so we have a bunch of stuff to discuss today. Um, things have been happening. So let's. I want to tell you our thoughts. Obviously, you can join this conversation on social media and also our number that will be displayed on the screen. Um, feel free to join in. But let's do this, people. Eddie Murphy is setting his transcended racism in the movie industry. I know you know who Eddie Murphy is. The actor has enjoyed an incredibly successful career in Hollywood. And although he acknowledges that diversity remains an issue in the film business, it never stopped him from starring in a movie. In his words, in terms of my work and career, race has never really been an issue. Um... I have been, I have been making movies for 40 years and never once could not get a movie made because I was black. I transcended that stuff. But that's not to say I walked out of heaven and into Hollywood. I am a black man who was born in America, an African-American growing up in this country. There is no way you're not going to have to face some stuff. Eddie considers that the film business is still run by white men and that Hollywood needs to become more inclusive. Um, obviously, this went on social media and there was a lot of conversations going on. But I'm just going to open the table up to my colleagues first to see where their thoughts are on this. What do you guys think? Guys? <clears throat> it's a pretty um, amazing that a black person would say um, there's racism. no being, <clears throat> excuse me, that the racism thinking has not really affected him. He's been starring in movies and all. It's really amazing to hear that. Um, let me go back to that Malcolm and Marie. Mm. Something like this was, people talked about a lot of this, like this in the review, when I watched a lot of review, I actually reviewed it as well. Mm. I noticed... Um, Where did you review it? On YouTube. Mm. What's that? What's what? What, what YouTube? Mm -mm. My YouTube, my YouTube channel. Which is? <laughs> it's just with Emmy, you can check if you want to check. Oh. Yeah, so um, um, in that movie, there was something like that there because he was telling a story about producers, black producers, but and uh, the movie industry. But I don't know why he had to use a black person to tell the story. The fact that it was a it was a white person who produced the film, mm -hmm. and he used a black man to tell the story. Mm -hmm. So I feel like yes, racism is actually a lot in that industry, and it's amazing that I never stopped Ed Murphy from stirring in a lot of movies. But he said it's still it's still there. I guess I guess that's that's. that's mm, I mean, I I th I think. First of all, I like his spirit, and I like where his mind is at because I think it, we can take it a bit too far when we use um, racism as an excuse. Yes, it is a systematic thing, and there is. Um, tension for being black and how you can do things and you might have to work 10 times harder and blah 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 so i like that he doesn't have that spirit he's not going oh this is going to be difficult for me or the reason why i haven't done this is because of this mm. i like that him personally as an individual believes that i don't have anything that's stopping me and i've had a successful career mm. black or whatever oh. but <laughs> He is still limited, mm. whether he wants to admit it or not. Yeah, because I was going to ask, like, do you think um, somehow it was paved out for him, for him 
like the movie industry, how he got in and all of that, if that really helped him because Why do you think so? I'm asking, I'm not saying so. I'm asking mm. do you think I mean, it I was, No, it wasn't. It I I, I don't I think he worked hard for his stuff. What I'm saying what, what I'm trying to say is that Eddie Murphy has had a successful movie career yeah. and I can bet you that if he was not black it would be more successful that's what I would say yeah. I would have been a lot more easier or he might have done more things Eddie Murphy is successful yes but he's very limited you cannot mm. compare him to the kind of um, uh, career that George Clooney has oh, had yeah. mm. he is very stereotyped he's not honestly Easy speaking now. Uh, he's very, Stereotype? very stereotyped. Yes, in terms no. of the types of movies that he's... No. I've never seen Eddie him... Eddie has done a lot of movies. Oh, uh, guys. Unless you don't watch Eddie Murphy movies. movies. I have never seen him in top-notch... What? Wait, wait, wait. Let me finish. Top-notch films. Naughty Professor. He, he created Naughty Professor. Yeah, he so did, what are you talking did. about? So what, what's that? Is that not a top-notch movie? No, you know, you're missing my point. I gave you an example of um, George Clooney, for example. They're both the same. George Clooney makes movies and also acts movies. Yeah. George Clooney has quality movies that have been presented to him that differ. Mm. He has done Country, Country Boy. He's done Pilots and Space Guy and Lover and all of that. I've never seen Do you Eddie Murphy. Let me finish, sorry. Let me finish, please. Let me Murphy. finish, you fair, please. All right, go on. Um, I've never seen him. I've never seen Eddie Murphy in a sci fi movie. Oh. Oh, yes, I've never seen it. I've never seen in yeah, I did the research before I came here, okay, so I know okay. I'm saying. I've never seen him in some types of movies. The thing that has been really successful and why he has a big legacy is that he is exactly like Tyler Perry. He oh. created his own space. That's and they didn't true. give him that space. That's true. He created his own space and he loves comedy and he stayed in comedy. And like um he has had amazing movies like um the one that's coming with part two. What do you call it? Coming to America. America. Coming to America, for example. But he hasn't done heavy, serious, I action, guess, die, bond movie. Saying, okay, good. From. And that's a limitation, as that's, far as I'm concerned. True. He didn't uh, actually deny that fact. Though. Exactly, uh, he didn't. I, 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 I dare to disagree with you because um, it's not a limitation. It's about knowing what you want. Now, if I choose to be the comedy guy, I don't want to do no sci-fi. I don't want to do no, um, what's it called now, James Bond kind of movie. This is my space. I have created the space it is not the industry that has limited me it is what i have chosen to do it's like somebody telling me to come and cast the news or to come and talk about politics i'm not going to do it would you say i'm being stereotyped as an entertainer or as an entertainment guy it's very I'm not different it's like asking him to play football very different as an actor no as an actor as an there's actor. no actor no. that's going to say you guys hold on as an actor you have a space you want to be in you have something you want to be recognized for and i'm not saying wait well, hold up playing. hold up i'm not saying that is going to limit me to doing other stuff it's not going to limit me but if i choose now do you know those people turn down roles how do you know he has not been called for a science how do you uh, know? a science fiction <laughs> how movie? do you know that, that's exactly that the point no no that's no how would point. you know well, you that know, he he's actually, being stereotyped he actually, as well he actually accepted the fact that Thank you. he he's being limited, limited. He, he accepted it i understand there's no actor but what i want to say right now is that look entertainment there's certain things right that's I don't think racism it does exist right but i get where it's coming from now let's focus on what he's talking about about the racism thing that look it has never affected him because a lot of people are like oh yeah black man you know but i went to the comment section on some blog site that posted the story and people were like oh no bro you're lying everybody's affected by racism yes. and i saw a lot of people that also came to say look there are certain things that cannot be limited to racism and he said it himself in that same stuff. Like, look, comedy, some people want to laugh. Mm. Do you understand? So regardless of who you are, where you're from, people will laugh if you're funny. If you have good music, people will listen. Regardless if you're white, Latina, Mexican, whatever you are, people will listen to good music. So I get where Eddie is coming from that, look, this is 100% not a racism background for me because uh, I chose my space. If I, let me say, let me say something. Um, being a comedian or an artist who sings good songs, people must listen. It doesn't mean you can't 
It doesn't mean racism cannot limit your Of course, course. even the black mean, rappers that 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 making a whole lot of money that even white people listen to, they still get you know, intimidated by cops, right? Mm -hmm. They still get shot by cops. They still get targeted. So I'm not saying it's completely out of the norm, but okay. I'm saying on the scale of one to ten, what what ratio would you? Put I don't think them it's on? a ratio. I think maybe what I can agree to is that um, um, racism cannot stop you from being successful. Yeah, yes, 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 yes. But it, it can, can still limit, limit you. your success. Yeah, so that's what we're talking about. To, like, yeah. the very point issue. And everybody has some limitation. Sometimes it's a limitation about where you are. Like, you can be extremely successful in Nigeria, but because you are in Nigeria, your success cannot compete with somebody like who's an, who's successful in america yeah, that's it can true. be that you're a female in the wrong country it could be that you're gay in the wrong or muslim or mm. something yeah, you know true. there's there's different limitations so, so you cannot deny that um what's it called racism has affected his career and then uh, you said something about his acting he can't deny he can't he didn't, he didn't even deny he did not he said it's a limitation it's, yes which is already a, a disadvantage so racism he said it's has in the industry he said but it has never affected him i don't know if we're reading the same thing though he said i have transcended Meaning that I've been able to and remove myself from the boundaries exactly of when you have been able to, to remove what is the definition of limitation when you are not able to remove yourself and you're no, and you no, are no, no, left no, 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 no. no that's not what limitation is oh, okay. limitation means i have a limit it is telling you that i have that been place. successful in this career because racism if has it, never been a do thing do you agree me. that he could have been more successful if in many other regards do you if agree you that we all can now. be a dangote you don't get to the point. I'm getting the point, and I'm, I'm telling you that question. this man is telling you that racism. Now, I'm don't let us man, I'm don't let us say because we're black, right? We just want to go off oh racism, racism, playing the victim card. Now that is what everyone does. If we're it, not going to play the. Let victim me just stop card. you right there. This guy mentioned how the the what's obviously, it called? Obviously, it's stating the obvious. No, 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 no. You know, you're you're stating you're stating the opposite of the obvious because you just said that we are playing the victim card. It's not a victim card. I'm not card. saying you are it playing is, the victim card. You just card. said we are all That's playing the victim said. card. I said we shouldn't okay. play. I did not say you are English, ma'am. Okay, so he just even mentioned that this thing is run by white people. You need to understand that if something is run by white people. It is whitewashed. Yes, and that in itself is a problem. In when 2020. The Hollywood industry is over 100 years. And we're still getting awards like the first black woman to... Exactly. The first so that black tells man you, to... That tells you the, uh, wait, how, wait, wait. Oh, okay, wait, okay. Wait, wait, let me stop you right there. Let me stop you right there. You know what? I want to stop you right there. Wait, And that doesn't mean that we haven't had successful black people in the industry. What that means is that we've had limitations still, despite that. Queen Latifah was big in the 80s. She had a successful career. Yeah. But there was, we're still getting... Um, oh, um, first black person too. So, you know, I, I don't think you're hearing our conversation well. There is limitations. You cannot deny that. I want you to know that there's something called superiority, right? No, don't take it that far. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Now, now, you, you're giving this confederate people the white supremacy power. Now, if you're talking about the first black person, We've had the first black person to do this. We've had the first black person to do that. Mm. Now, that is not a limitation in any way. Now, the limitation is your mind. Is you telling yourself is because I'm a black person. I can't do this. No. I can't do that. Now, there are a lot of other <laughs> successful black people that are not rated as the first black person. You know that, right? What are you talking about? You're, you're growing off what we're talking about no you guys want to just limit it and play the victim card now a black man is telling you that look i'm good as a black man i've done this i've done that i've created my own space what stops every other black person from creating their own niche and not putting it as i have a limitation i don't believe i have a limitation do you the question do you have a limitation I believe there, there, I can there's fly. a lot you cannot do if you're over there yeah if i'm over there you can, there. That, you yeah. can be here see that is the mindset no that gets people it is not, a not mindset doing things effect. that they really effect. need to do no 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 yes no. the system doesn't support you know, a lot think, of things i think we should get to the next story okay yes, let, let the audience argue, argue about this let them comment like, uh, don't, all don't right say, but this I mean, small mind won't work for us it's not about small mind you have to face reality fair you cannot you cannot it's not about you know the, it's the, a new the, world, darling. the worst thing it's that a the, new you know world. the worst thing that can happen is if you're actually delusional to the system that you're in. Because if you are delusional, you're not even wait, 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 wait. System. If what you are, are you talking about? To the you're system, not even in the system. I'm making a, a collective oh, statement, wow. if I, I'm, I'd not say I'd not say you. I'm saying 
if you are in a system that you don't know how it works, you can't even fight it. So if you think for a second that you're in America and there is no limitation, then you don't even know how to fight. The fact that um, somebody like See, somebody like Eddie Murphy can even create his own space is because somebody had admitted man. that there is issues with the system and fought for black people to make that space for someone a like man Eddie told Murphy. You yeah. it transcended, but let's move on, Sha. Meaning there is power in you. If you create your own space, if you create something good, it's going to be great. Do you understand? A man is telling you he transcended. What is stopping a whole lot of other people from transcending? This is not the conversation about stopping other people. We're talking about the industry and if it has and systematic racism. And then why are we going racism? off and talking about systematic racism and talking about racism when a man is telling you that... The look, conversation is about racism, if it... Move on. The skinny girl in Transit Star <laughs> joins the forthcoming film's confirmed female crew. And I'm excited about this one. Play Network Studios have unveiled the producer for the upcoming remake of the 1994 Nollywood classic Glamour Girls, directed by Chika Unkufo. In an Instagram, Unkufo. <laughs> in an Instagram, uh -huh, what he said. Uh -huh. In an Instagram post shared on Tuesday, March 2nd of 2021, the production company shared a poster confirming in Danny TV star, actress, and producer, and Bibola Greg as the sequel. Producer, I wish I could hug her. I don't know. I'm so excited for her. Play Network boss Charles Opaleke further revealed that the latest sequel, which he premiered in cinemas December 20, 2021, will share three generations of Nollywood, three generations of Nollywood actresses in one movie, with a female producer, a female director, and a female writer. It is a woman's world, and you know it. <laughs> Seeing the cinemas in December, and everybody, I think everybody's excited about this one. The 1994 classic starred Liz Bensing, Gloria Anozie, Sandra Atrums, Pat Atta, Ucheria Anobi, Ernest Obi, Zach Oji, JT, Tom West, amongst many others. So I don't know if, you, if this is bringing back memories for you. I told a gripping tale, it told a gripping tale rather, of four young women turned to prostitution to afford a high class lifestyle. So this is going to be really interesting. Did you watch the movie? Uh, I, I have. She wasn't born. No, I do. I, you were born? Yeah, I, I was born. Are you sure? Yes, I Glamour was. Glamour girl. Yes, I was born. Think but, about it. Oh, Jesus Christ. Let her talk. <laughs> I was born, but I watched it much, much later when I was Obviously. new. And I have a very faint summary about it. About Same it. here. I yeah. really can't remember, remember it thoroughly. I yeah. Know. I think what I'm going you to do is I'm going to... You guys don't tell the storyline. No. <laughs> no. No, 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 no. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to watch the... the oh, I'm going to go find the old one first before I then watch the... the yeah. So, yeah, really? I'm, not, I'm not ready yet. And okay. it's so far away. I just want to say shout out to um, Charles Opaliki actually for this because it's. We've had his, him on the show, right? Yeah, uh, no, on tea time. I was Play, yeah, yeah, we have. And I think he's one of those people that um, someone like me or. F uh, I don't want to speak for all feminists because we're very different. For, some, for feminists like me that we appreciate because I know that this gender battle can only be won when the two genders work together. And he's an epitome of somebody that does that. He doesn't just do female stuff. He does, you know, male yeah. stuff and, you know, um, diverse stuff and all of that. But I think he's so aware of the, the, the need of the people mm -hmm. and he's empathetic to that. And I really like that. Uh, Abimbola, I'm really very happy for her. Yeah. She's really worked hard for she this. Because I joined her life one time and she was talking about that with, um, what's her name? Sharon Oja. Mm. Yeah, so I think, I don't know. I think Sharon should be in that movie. I don't know. I think so. Mm. So okay. she has really worked hard for, for, for that skinny girl. Now this one. I really can't wait to see um, the three... Um, actresses, yeah, that, who they who, who they're gonna be? Yeah, mm. really. That's that's what I'm actually. I'm, I'm hoping. I don't. I, I know it's not gonna be that, but I would have really liked if they blew my mind with the with what with the casting. Okay. But I can already tell that I'm not gonna be surprised about by the faces. They, yeah, it's gonna be very stereotypical, cloud taste girls. If Sarah is not there, I'm gonna be very surprised. I'm, I'm, and maybe Adesuwa, or you know, just like the big. No, I don't think Adesuwa. Kemakiwa or no. Tokemakiwa, no. Oh, maybe Sharon that. Oja, yes. Yeah, Sharon Oja is going to be there. I can really just already tell. I can have, I have an idea of what. I mean, of we're also very limited. Okay. Not that many people anyway, but let's see, Sha. Mm. For me, I just think um, I'm very proud of what um, Craig has done for herself. From skinny girls in transit to what she is right now, I think it's so amazing. And I think um, this is an... Uh, uh, um, 
what's it called now? A welcome development for the industry, you know? I mean, Bolo Craig is being the producer and all of that. It just shows that whatever you work hard at, you're just definitely going to get it. And I like this new thing of recreating old, old movies. Yeah. Do you understand? Like Glamour Girls, like Living in Bondi, like Rattlesnake yeah. and all of that. Right. Just bring back those... Hmm? I haven't seen Rattlesnake. Yeah. Mm. Let's bring back classics, yeah? Mm -hmm. Let's recreate them. And this also goes to superhero movies. Now, I don't know who is watching, but I just want to say to the producers, we have our own heroes. We have Shongo. We have Oya. We have Ogun. We have Amadioa. We have... What's the name? I don't know any Awusa gods. Who can think, help me? Are these superheroes? They're, well, they're gods. They're and gods. And the superheroes thing. are like, yeah, Thor yeah, is a god. Yeah, yeah. like Superman yeah. came from yeah. another planet. Yeah. 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 yeah, it's the same idea, but they've you turned understand? it so I just want to You know, I just want us to put in more energy, more into creativity. That's all this is for me. So I'll be downed if I'm watching a glamour girl and I'm getting the feel of what I got in the first one. Just like, to be honest, Living in Bondage is a great movie. But it gave me the same vibe of the old movie, just the modern version of it. But isn't that what remake mm. is? That's what remake is, but at the end of the day, can we get a little bit more creative? Ah, it's a, What do you mean? Yeah, because if you get How too creative I mean? and you leave the, the core the, of the movie, yeah. people are going to be very upset that get you touched core, that movie. Get the core of the movie, but can we get... Don't let us make it about... I don't, I don't know how to put it, right? But I, I know that a lot of people that have, have creative minds, right, can actually be like, okay, yeah, this guy is making sense right now. I think, I think, I think, I think they, all, they did what you're talking about in that movie. They but actually, living in Bundy. Yeah, I think so too. No, they did, they did. But I just want us to be, you know, like a little bit. Don't give me that same vibe, you know. Let's touch on the Let's touch. Let's touch. It's not same vibe on with the, the old story one. with modern day touch. Now. In Living in Bondi, they were talking about the occult group and now they were doing blood. And it's gone beyond all of that these days. You don't even have to be in an occult group in for you movie, to do money rituals. In the movie, the recent one, yeah. it's, it, it's, it doesn't really relate. Like, it doesn't really... Um, it wasn't exactly the same thing as the old one. Of course. Exactly. What I'm telling you that is, it still goes back to, oh, you have to go to a coven. You have to be with some brothers. But that's... You know, mm. That's not what it so is. So you're saying you're saying it doesn't People happen these days. People just steal pants these days and they do. But that's money. no longer believing. <laughs> you understand? Now. Yeah? It's not it's exactly. It's no longer living in bondage. So don't no you remember even the way that they. Oh, you think like if they, they steal pants, you think you're gonna give the devil something? It was even more like a continuation. Yeah, actually, that one, yeah, because, because I I think the way they especially. Did any of you see the first one though? Yes, I did. Yeah, but not every. No, that doesn't sound convincing. No, don't do that. Don't do that to me. I saw. I went to see it so I can understand. The first living in bondage. You went to see where? What cinema? No, not not at the cinema. Don't just mess with you. If I don't do that, don't do that with me. But. I feel like the, the recent one, the recent one is like a continuation because they started, it started with um, the, 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 the man who was the courts, whatever, that mm. was his name, what's his name? Uh, Kanayo, Kanayo. No. Oh my Ramsen, God. Ramsen Noah. Noah. Not Ramsen Noah. The, the guy, other man, yeah. He scrunchy. became a reverend father, so I don't know. Oh yeah, that guy. Yeah, right. and then his son. That had gone missing. He didn't even know. That. I, I think he didn't know that that was his son, oh, or right. he's been looking for the child. It's, a good plot. it's like a continuation. Good. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, so